The, um, I guess the, there's a proclamation on tonight's agenda of recognizing National Youth Week as June 18th through the 24th. So um, after the, they're going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, and then we'll go from there with the agenda. Please rise with the Pledge of Allegiance. I serving worldwide, defending our freedoms, constitutions, and way of life. Thank you. Our first item on tonight's agenda, we do have the proclamation um, for presentation of proclamation recognizing National Youth Week as June 18th through the 24th. At this time, I'd like to invite um, Middletown Elks Exalted Ruler to please come forward, Robert Verhurst. If you're um, present, and also the Youth Activities Chairman, Michael Paroulis, Jr. I'd also like to call down from the dais our um, participants, Carly Walsh, Connor Walsh, Justin Soto, Peyton Laborfo, sorry, um, Paige Bender, Carly Leahy, and Ava Paroulis. Okay, before I read the proclamation, I just want to say a special thanks to the Elks 
Uh, we go to a lot of events and we're involved with the Elks uh, throughout the whole uh, year. Between the charity walls, the various breakfasts they have, and they are such an important part, such an important part of the uh, community here. They do so much good work for, for youth and recognize them. And I don't think we have enough of this where we recognize the standout things that youth uh, do and are involved in. We hear about some of the not so good things, but the Elks are always there reminding us of all the good. And uh, you know what? The future is in pretty good shape when you see young people like this who uh, do so well in school and sports and everything else. Okay, with that, I want to read the proclamation. Uh, whereas the Benevolent and Protective Order of Elks has designated the third week of June as Youth Week to honor America's junior citizens for their accomplishments and to give fitting recognition of their services to community, state, and nation. And whereas Middletown Elks Lodge number 2179 sponsors an observance week in tribute to junior citizens of the township of Middletown, and whereas no event could be more deserving of our support and participation than one dedicated to these young people who represent the nation's greatest resource, and who in the years ahead will assume the responsibility for the advancement of our free society. And whereas our youth need guidance, inspiration, and encouragement, which we alone can give in order to help develop those qualities of character essential for future leadership. Now, whereas to achieve this worthy objective, we should demonstrate our partnership with youth, our understanding of their hopes and aspirations, and a sincere willingness to help prepare them in every way for the responsibilities and opportunities of citizenship. Now therefore, I, Jerry Schaffberger, Mayor of the Township of Middletown, and the Middletown Township Committee hereby proclaim June 18th to the 24th, 2017, as National Youth Week in Middletown Township, and urge all departments of government, civic, fraternal, and patriotic groups, and our citizens generally to participate wholeheartedly in its observance. Congratulations, guys, and congratulations to the else. August 1967, 
And whereas Bud worked his way up the line to the rank of captain in 1975, 76, and 77. In January 1977, the fire department had one of the most stubborn fires in its history, the Marlow Farms Fire. Through the efforts of Captain McKnight, the chiefs, and many dedicated firefighters from other township companies, the fire did not spread to a nearby barn. And whereas Bud served as Middletown Township Fire Chief in 1985, having previously held the positions of Deputy Chief, First Assistant, Second Assistant, and Third Assistant. He was the fifth person to command the department from the Lincroft Fire Company. He also served as Middletown Fire Department President, Treasurer, and Trustee. And whereas he also served in the Middletown Township Air Unit, seeing it grow from a very humble beginning to what it is today. And whereas Bud is an integral part of the township's firefighting community, having donated thousands of hours over the last 50 years to help keep Middletown citizenry and poverty safe. And whereas the Middletown Township Committee wishes to join the members of the Lincroft Fire Company, and I, Austin B. McKnight Jr., for 50 years of dedicated service to the Lincroft Fire Company, the Middletown Fire Department, and to Middletown Township. Now therefore, I, be a Jerry Schaffenberger, and the Middletown Township Committee, do hereby wish to take this opportunity to commend Austin B. McKnight Jr. for his invaluable contributions to the community. It is an honor and a privilege that you choose to call Middletown your home. Thank you for your extraordinary service. To make sure you're not going home empty handed, you have the key to the city. You have to bring up Mrs. McKnight because this is not one person's 50 year anniversary. All right, you can get a few pictures. So, why? Yeah. Just that. Okay, good. Until you get a few. Good night. Good night.
We have introduction of proposed ordinance, ordinance number 2017-3198, an ordinance of the Township of Middletown to release, vacate, and extinguish any and all public rights in any in and in and to portion of Old Town Bike. Introduction. Second. Commandment Fiore. Yes. Committee Member Stell. Yes. Committee Member Santa Marina. Yes. Deputy Mayor Murray. Yes. Mayor Sharper. Yes. The motion carries to uh, introduce this ordinance on first reading with the public hearings meeting on July 17, 2017. Introduction of Ordinance 2017-3199. Ordinance of the Township Committee of the Township of Middletown County of Monmouth amending Chapter 540, Planning and Development Regulations. Move for introduction. Second. I just clarify. We have an end out for you. It's not a small, small amendment. So we say, uh, you know, make it as amended. Okay, uh, move for introduction as amended. Second. Committee Member Fury. Yes. Committee Member Sal. Yes. Committee Member Senator Brown. Yes. Committee Member Murray. Yes. Mayor Sharper. Yes. Motion carries to pass this uh, ordinance on first reading as amended with a public hearing to be held 717-2017. Our next item on tonight's agenda, we have approval of minutes for March 20, 2017, March 20th uh, uh, executive and regular meetings. April 3rd, 2017, executive session and workshop meeting. Move for approval. Second. Committee Member Fiore. Yes. Committee Member Sal. Yes. Committee Member Santa Marino. Yes. Deputy Mayor Murray. Yes. Mayor Schaffer. Yes. Motion carries to the <coughs> At this time, I'd like to ask the Township Committee if you'd like to adopt a consent agenda, which would include resolution 17-180. Through resolution 17 186, including the bingo and raffle log. Move for adoption. Second. Okay. Committee Member Fiore. Yes. Committee Member Stout. Yes. Committee Member Santa Marino. Yes. Deputy Mayor Murray. Yes. Mayor Sharper. Yes. Motion carries to adopt consent agenda. At this time, we have the Township Committee acting as the ABC issuing authority. Um, if you'd like to adopt the consent agenda, resolutions 17 187 through 17 191. Move for adoption. Second. Committee Member Fiore. Yes. Committee Member Stout. Yes. Committee Member Santa Maria. Yes. Deputy Mayor Murray. Yes. Mayor Sharper. Yes. Motion to adopt the consent agenda. At this time, we have Township Committee comments. Uh, Mr. Sal. Um, just a few things. Um, most recently, I was um, at a uh, company creek um, had a cleanup um, by the Affordable Housing Alliance. Um, it was just an amazing thing to watch. There was a hundred people, hundred volunteers who came by. Um, they were, you know, knee the waist deep in the water, uh, collecting garbage and rubbish. Uh, there was a guy in a kayak pulled out a um, a tank, a gas tank. It was uh, just an amazing thing. 40 yards um, uh, of the town. It was an awesome event to see to take place. Um, I was also at the honor of attending an Eagle Scout ceremony in the Cuff School um, not long ago, and it just amazed me every time I go to one of those um, the achievements, the, you know, the, the accomplishments that these young boys. Do. It's, it's really uh, pretty amazing. Um, I also uh, had the honor of uh, previewing and taking a tour of the USS Iwo Jima, which is here at Earl. And I got at one of the most amazing things I think I've ever seen. Um, it was a working um, battleship, um, and it was, you know, just to, to meet these young men and women was just an unbelievable honor. Uh, and then finally, I was at a, uh, a Tomlin graduation that we uh, had at the MAC uh, last week, and it was just a really heartwarming, cute event. Uh, and 
was uh, very nice to attend. So thanks very much. And, uh, so that's today. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Senator Reno. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. Mayor. Uh, two, two items. Um, firstly, a, a comment on National Youth Week. When you began, when you began to introduce youths, I heard these five youths. Um, <laughs> and I was looking for Gerald Patrick. <laughs> So, but uh, I'd like to think that uh, certainly today's uh, today's youth and the National Youth Week um, and the achievements of the youths today uh, uh, far exceeds uh, what uh, what what our youths of yesteryear um, can achieve. We're, we're glad to have them here. But um, take the boy out of Brooklyn. <laughs> and so the, uh, the the second item on uh, June second, I also had the uh, pleasure of attending an Eagle Scout ceremony in which there were uh, uh, four um, Life Scouts that uh, made it to Eagle. And there, there's one thing that I, I did learn there. Number one, that uh, the, uh, the Scouts were there ran an, an incredibly efficient uh, meeting and got everyone uh, uh, awarded and had there probably within an hour and a half or so. But the achievements of, of the Scouts were, were fantastic. And uh, I continue to be amazed at, at all that the Scouts do. And there's one thing that I learned that I didn't know when I, when I went there. And, um, uh, back in 1987, when I had made Eagle, there were less than 2% of the scouts made Eagle. Now, it is less than 4%. So, I'm glad to see that the achievements of the uh, of scouting has increased and certainly drawn in more boys, and we're glad to have them here in Middletown. That's all I have for the Stevie. Okay, thank you. Mr. Fiore, you're up. Thank you, Mayor. Um, two things this evening. One, uh, for the record, just want to congratulate and thank Mr. McKnight uh, for his 50 plus now uh, years as a volunteer for our uh, great Middletown Township Fire Department. I think it's a an absolute um, honor for us to be able to honor him as a volunteer and a great community volunteer for such a a long extended period of time to uh, to give to the people of his community and uh, it's just a, a tremendous thing to see that uh, we have so many different volunteers especially from the fire department i think this is probably our fourth or so that, that have uh, made the 50 year mark in the this, year. Year. This, this year right so um, just a wonderful organization and congratulations to uh, to him on his accomplishment um, Secondly, it's a little bit more substance um, with respect. Uh, some of you may or may not be aware, but recently a new school funding formula was introduced by uh, both uh, the senator, uh, the head of the Senate, Senator Steve Sweeney, and the head of the Assembly, Senator Prieto. So for lack of a better term, or if there's a better term, we'll call the Sweeney, Sweeney Prieto uh, school funding formula. And that funding formula, which there planning to move forward with actually cuts one point, I believe it's 1.2 million approximately from the Middletown uh, School District in what they quote unquote call state aid or assistance. Now we all know the way state aid assistance works in this state of New Jersey. It's just a continual opportunity for suburban taxpayers like Middletown to continue to fund um, other districts out of district which continues to be a tremendous uh, become a tremendous cost to property taxpayers like each and every one of us in this room so I asked mayor if uh, with your consent and uh, approval and the approval of my colleagues on the township committee if we can pass a resolution at our next uh, meeting in opposition of this new Sweeney Prieto school funding formula which, uh, like in the Abbott districts, and the look, I can get into this funding formula that makes absolute zero sense to taxpayers of Middletown, probably makes zero sense to taxpayers all across the state of New Jersey, but once again, um, never ceases to amaze me how they come up with these formulas with absolutely no math scientifically put behind it. So with uh, your approval, I'd love to introduce that resolution at the next meeting in opposition. I hope the governor vetoes such legislation. I hope the governor vetoes it and the, the threats of studying, shutting the state, uh, if that's what it has to come down to, so be it. This is absolutely ridiculous. And I cannot see how the taxpayers will continue to uh, continue to bear, especially suburban taxpayers here in Middletown, these costs. So absolutely. Thank you, Mayor. That's all I have to see. Okay, Deputy Mayor Murray, you're on. I'm going to try to be very brief, um, and I'm going to leave you, Mayor, to talk about our Memorial Day parade, yeah. where everybody turned out in spite of the rain, which is yeah. an amazing, fantastic feeling. Um, 
and also the, uh, the brief report went down to you as well. Uh, the one thing I did want to mention before I touched on the uh, school funding formula, like my colleague here, um, was the fantastic heritage tourism tour that we just launched. Uh, a lot of hard work went into that by many of the people in this room. I see Janet and Maureen and Heidi and uh, our assistant planner, Amy Sarah Nicolau, and also people at the Art Center. Uh, Maggie and Arcane helped make a map. Um, help with, with the help of a grant that we received and we had approximately 50 people show up for our first heritage store in the village which is really impressive and uh, there's more to come on that so um, very happy about that wanted to mention that um, with respect to the legislature's proposal to cut 1.3 million dollars from the budget you know just really frankly it's it's very unfair and it's very disappointing that um, the legislature would introduce something um, like this, to, to cut $1.3 million of such great magnitude after a budget was already adopted. It's, it's the equivalent of pulling out the rug from underneath someone. So um, I couldn't agree with my colleague more, and I, I think we're going to have that resolution Absolutely. for the next meeting. Um, uh, you know, and, and, and like my colleague said, I can only hope the governor vetoes this very disappointing legislation. Um, if it should get to his desk, which mm -hmm. looks very likely, said. Thank you, Mayor. Okay, thank you. Uh, a couple of things. In fact, I just want to say something about the historic sites tour. Um, Deputy Mayor Murray deserves a lot of the credit for for the tour happening, but also the success of it, recognizing what we have here in Middletown. I think one of the frustrating things about uh, you know being on the governing body in a town that's so historic and has such a great uh, cultural legacy is that it's sort of underappreciated a lot of times and you know we're here you know quite a while so we know all the uh a lot of the sites and how important the history behind it. but i think a lot of people especially newer arrivals don't always realize uh the, the breadth and density of the uh, historic record that we have here and I, I always like to say there's some kids out in iowa who will be reading about the uh escape route that go, went right through middletown after the battle of monmouth so we are really very blessed here, and it was great to see such an enthusiastic and, and wildly successful uh, kickoff to the Historic Sites Tour program, and hopefully there will be many more. Uh, more late parade, as, as the Deputy Mayor said, it was a little bit rainy. It held off just enough to get it in. What was most surprising was the turnout along the way. Uh, I don't think there were any less people lining the parade route than there would have been on a perfectly sunny day. So that was great to see, and I think it's a, a testament to the patriotic uh, nature of this town in general. And it's always good to see the young children waving American flags. That's really what it's all about when you think of it. And uh, it, was, it was as great an event as ever. The American Legion does a great job of, um, of uh, overseeing the parade and certainly the reception afterwards. So great day all around. A couple of uh, events since the last meeting. Um, just this past Saturday, we had a dune grass uh, planting, uh, the second one out at Ideal Beach, and I see some of the volunteers here. And uh, another little bit of a rainy start to the day, but they got quite a bit done, and that is such a magnificent part of it, of the township. And if you stand on that beach and look out and get over the water. There's no nicer view along the East Coast than that view from Ideal Beach out into the bay. It's really beautiful, and it's only, it's only going to get more, uh, more bucolic with all of the improvements being made out, of it, uh, out there. And we're very proud and very happy, and it's great to see the community come together and, and support these changes. Uh, Brevet Fire Company had a wet down on Saturday, and uh, great, great turnout. Uh, they also celebrated a new, uh, a new piece of equipment, a new truck, and it's a quint hose truck. And for the life of me, I don't understand where the quint part comes in and what that means, but uh, they're very proud of it, and uh, you know, they go all out for these type of things. And again, uh, the fire department in Middletown, it's not, it's not just an organization, it's a culture and a way of life. And you see the enthusiasm with every aspect of what they do, and uh, really a great time. And excellent turnout, so much of the neighborhood came out, so we wish them a lot of luck with that. Uh, later that evening, they had the, fire, uh, the annual Middletown Fire Academy graduation. 
and they had 18 cadets, eight of whom were from Middletown. And it was, uh, it was probably one of the best graduating classes, and this is not me, this is according to the chiefs, uh, no one failed any of the tests along the way. Uh, no one dropped out, which was sort of unprecedented, I guess. So they're very, very happy with the, uh, with the new recruits who are coming up and um, look forward to all the contributions that we'll be getting from them. Hopefully, 50 years from now, we'll be giving them a proclamation. And um, the Elks, another one of the things they do every year is have a flag day ceremony. And always, always a great, uh, a great event. Uh, it goes through the whole history of the flag, and uh, you know it's always nice to give a reminder of how the flag evolved over time, the different variations of it, and um, it's always, again, it was a wonderful, wonderful, uh, beautiful day. And uh, these days, you know, with the flag getting, getting tossed around a lot too, with all the dopey protests we see on TV, uh, it's good to be reminded how important, how sacred, and how much uh, respect some uh, most of us have for it. And uh, with that, uh, that's all I have to say. Thank you. Can we have public comments? Okay. Uh, if anybody would like to speak, I just want to remind you to please uh, give your name and address and keep your comments to five minutes so everyone in the whole room, if they want to, gets a chance to speak, okay? All right, here's the trouble. Where's my gal? Slow up. <laughs> Jack, just put the mic down. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah that's it. Uh, Jack Leroy, go ahead and uh, move down. Uh, just on behalf of the Idaho Beach Community Association at North Middletown, just like to thank all of you and the township for doing the Idaho Beach Project. It's looking fantastic. I don't know if we have any turnout with volunteers this past Saturday, but I'm sure in the future, uh, well, we need a lot of effort. Mm -hmm. I just want to let you know we're also doing a project in the Roosevelt Park. And when we're all done there, we're going to plant this year. Nice. It's going to look really good. So we're going to invite the township to have for appreciation ceremony. It's going to be in the honor of the FPG Forest because this is the right on the Roosevelt side. So it's just great. So we're all going to be slide. We just have to. Great, thanks, Jack. And you know, just whenever you get a date, just let us know as far in advance as yeah. possible so we can make sure we're there. And I just want to say, uh, you know, just allow everybody else to chime in, uh, how much it means to us that Ideal Beach gets the, the sprucing up that it really deserves. And we think we're well on our way there. And uh, every time I drive, I'm amazed at the progress that's being made, the repaving of the yes. parking lot. It's really going to be a show place. It's, it's not, not going to be a secret anymore. No, it's not a secret. It's yeah. 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 Thank you again. Thanks. Thank you. OK, is there anyone else who would care to speak? Seeing no other members of the public come forward, move to close the public portion and move for adjournment. Second. Yes. 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 Yes.